Hey there guys, this is Nintendo PSX, and uh, I want to do a little discussion, kind of with myself, but I'm going to discuss it with you guys through third-party means, through YouTube means third-party stuff, happening stuff, I'm weird. Anyways, recently Ubisoft has finally confirmed that Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Game is indeed getting an update. It'll come as a pack for multiplayer and Wallace Wells, as an extra character, on February 6th. So, you know... People might say that this is a little too late. I don't think it's too late. I mean, if they're willing to update a game this far in, I think that personally on my on my end, that shows how much Ubisoft truly cares for games, no matter how old they may appear to be or may actually end up being. It shows that they actually care to go back and update to make to give you enough replayability for an older game that you might have not touched since God knows how long ago. <clears throat> now, this for me, though, is good because this gives me an extra chance to, in a sense, not redo the Scott Pilgrim Let's Play, but add on to the Scott Pilgrim Let's Play. What I mean by this is that if I end up buying this pack, because it is a DLC pack, and you do have to buy it to get multiplayer and Scott Pilgrim, um, to get Wallace Wells, it's a little saddening, but, you know, I can, un I c a form of me can understand why, but, um, anyways, uh, I, I might intend to get Xbox Live, and the uh, Microsoft points to buy that pack come February 6th, and then I could finally finish episode 6, and then I could do the other modes, and I could show the other modes in multiplayer. I'm not sure, actually, if those modes, like the extra modes, can be used for multiplayer. I definitely know the main story could, I just don't know about those modes. But, you know, that's all I know about now, that's all we all know. But, February 6th, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game multiplayer pack. I think that's gonna be really fun, because... I know a friend of mine hasn't um, gotten the game yet, even though he kind of really wanted to. But now that there's multiplayer, he has a stronger reason to actually get it, despite actually having, you know, to buy the DLC too. Which is kind of sad, but, eh, there's some means to everything, I guess. Anyways, this has been Nintendo PSX, and I will see you guys in the next episode.